Today is April 2nd, and today's quote is entitled, This One Life. A few days back, we mentioned that Prabhupada said we have taken from Krishna in all our lives, but we should give this one life to Krishna. When plagued with desire or lethargy that we find difficult to give up, remind yourself that although you may not feel like controlling yourself, you have dedicated this one life to Krishna. So at least you will sacrifice this life by letting go of such desires and are giving into laziness. You may remember the story of Bhishma. Bhishma was a Chatriya, and Chatriyas were not settled, but they all got married. And so Bhishma's father wanted to remarry a woman named Satyavati. But her father said, I cannot let you marry my daughter because your son will be heir to the throne, and I want my children to be heir to the throne. So when Bhishma heard that, he made a vow of celibacy. He said, I will not marry, I will not have any sons, so you don't have to worry, so it's okay, let my father marry your daughter. And so when Bhishma made his vow, from the sky the demigods shouted Bhishma, which means horrible or terrible, like it was such a terrible thing for a Kshatriya to make such a vow. But if you look at our life, our life is very similar. If a materialist looks at our life, they think, oh, you're getting up so early and you're giving up so many pleasures, so many horrible vows we're making. And how is it that we can do this? Well, just as Bhishma made his vow and made a decision, in this life I will give up my desire to marry for another cause, to serve my father, we also think or should think or can think or it will help us to think that this one life, in this life, I'm giving up temptation, I'm giving up so many pleasures that I've enjoyed hundreds, thousands, millions of times in other bodies. And in this life, I'm sacrificing for Krishna. Why is this important? Because we're always tempted, because we're conditioned souls and we're habituated to enjoy. And there's so many things that tempt us. And you know what those are. But if you think okay, I'm tempted, but this life is given for Krishna. It's so much easier to just put that away and say, I'm not going to do it. Because everybody is doing that thing that you're giving up. And that's why it's hard to give up. And you've been doing it. We've all been doing it for lifetimes. But if we're thinking, okay, this is just one life. It's like you go to university. Okay, dedicate four years, five years, eight years. It'll be over. Okay, I'll just dedicate this time. It's austere. But it's a period of time. It has a beginning and an end. My austerity will end. So in the same way, we have only one life. Just do this one life. Okay, you're tempted to do this and that, but it's only one life. This life will end. The austerity will be, will be over. And Prabhupada said, if you do that in this one lifetime, you can go back to Godhead. That's amazing. In one lifetime, you can go back to Godhead. And all you have to do is control your senses a little bit and make a few sacrifices. So if you put that in your consciousness, when you're tempted by something, you remind yourself, no, in this life, I've given that up. I'm not going to do this. And then all of a sudden, it, it takes a different context. Yeah, it's only this life. That's not much. I've already done it before. So try that. It's powerful. When you have difficulty controlling your mind or senses, try thinking, no, this life, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sacrifice this, sacrifice that, because that's what will help me become Krishna conscious. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.